Hello, hello. We're here to talk about that facts about Fort Santiago. Fact number one, Plaza Mariones, named after Spanish Governor General Domingo Mariones. This plaza was used as a public promenade until the 1863 earthquake destroyed Fort Santiago. The buildings surrounding the plaza were used as soldiers' barracks. Number two, Alongside the solid curtain wall of Balwartilio de San Francisco Javier are the ruins of a building. Former Philippine President Elpidio Quirino was imprisoned in this building for 16 days in 1943 during the Japanese occupation. Number 3. The gate to Fort Sanchez's inner sanctuary is located here. The Battle of Manila in 1945 resulted in the destruction of Fort Santiago's gate. The engraved Spanish soldiers, which have been vandalized, are all that is left of the original gate. Number 4. The Plaza de Armas is located in the middle of Fort Santiago. It's used as a place to store guns and rifles. Additionally, this is where the soldiers conducted their regular drills. Number 5. Jose Rizal was detained here between November 3 and December 29, 1896, for a total of 56 days. In 1953, the entire right wing of this structure was rebuilt and turned into a museum and shrine for Jose Rizal. Number 6. This was once the first Santiago Infantry Quarters, but it was destroyed in 1945 during the Battle of Manila. The Raja Soliman Theater recently underwent modifications that included the addition of new backstage amenities. Number 8. Dr. Jose Rizal was brought here after spending 56 days in prison at the soldiers' barracks across from Plaza de Armas, and this building's main room was transferred to a chapel cell for him. Number 9. Around intervals, 600 decaying bodies from the Battle of Manila in 1945 were discovered. The remains are interred in a collective cemetery next to the dungeons, beneath a white marble cross. Number 10. The dungeons below were originally used as powder magazines until the toughness proved the Trinidad to storing gunpowder. These were then converted into prison cells.